It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I'm going to rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Goofy bitch. Got your ass all ripped open and the only thing you it inspired was loyalty. They ripped your ass open. Gene didn't say it. He said, check the records at the hospital. I'm saying it. You got your ass ripped open. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White Canada and take him to the flavor of f off the kitty edition. You hit ripped out. Now everything's coming out, and the first thing you do is run the Bali with another kitty right who works with the man, L.A. Reed, that sent you to the Diddy Flavor Freak Up. Not the flavor. Uh. Now you got Justin Bieber breaking up relationships and shit. He suck Odell Beckham dick the club and the next thing you know, he don't even want Kim no more. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing Molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape for me. Right now he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives. Kim Kardashian channels, channels her, inner her inner cougar, cougar with Justin, with Justin, Bieber. Justin Bieber. Is this a joke? Why they love their prey so young. That is so embarrassing. Revelation that's shining a light on the, the darker side of fame and celebrity influence. However, did you know that Kim used to have a major crush on Justin back in the day? She often spoke about how she wished she were older so they could date recently. These comments resurfaced online leading fans to wonder if Kim made a move on Justin after he turned 18, some sources even speculate that Kim may have hooked up with Justin. While she was already married to Kanye back in 2010, when Justin was just 16 years old and Kim was 29, they participated in a rather awkward photo shoot in the Bahamas for a spread in Elle magazine. The photo showed provocatively dressed Kim for licking in water laying on the beach with Justin and posing for him on a hotel balcony. And as you can see, the whole thing looked beyond creepy. The magazine later shared a video of the behind the scenes from the photo shoot and the video showed Kim dressed in a sexy lingerie while talking about Justin having a crush on her. first met Justin Bieber at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in Washington, D.C. And um, I think actually before that, I had said in an interview that I wanted to set him up with my sister, uh, Kendall, who's 14. And then he had responded in an interview saying that, um, no, he didn't want to be hooked up with my sister. He liked me or something silly. Revelation that's shining a light on the, the darker side of fame and celebrity influence. However, did you know that Kim used to have a major crush on Justin back in the day? She often spoke about how she wished she were older so they could date recently. These comments resurfaced online leading fans to wonder if Kim made a move on Justin after he turned 18. Some sources even speculate that Kim may have hooked up with Justin. While she was already married to Kanye back in 2010, when Justin was just 16 years old and Kim was 29, they participated in a rather awkward photo shoot in the Bahamas for a spread in Elle magazine. The photo showed provocatively dressed Kim for licking in water laying on the beach with Justin and posing for him on a hotel balcony. And as you can see, the whole thing looked beyond creepy. 
The magazine later shared a video of the behind the scenes from the photo shoot and the video showed Kim dressed in a sexy lingerie while talking about Justin having a crush on her. I met him um, in Washington, D.C. We took a picture together and he Twittered it and said, you know, me and my girlfriend Kim. And instantly, I mean, it was on CNN, like all over the place that him and I were dating. Also talked about how she and Justin sparked dating rumors after he posted a tweet earlier that year calling her his girlfriend. Interview. And yes, Kim later said that she wasn't being serious, but why was she even joking about dating a minor anyways? That behind the scenes footage was extremely uncomfortable to watch because Justin looked like he was 10 years old and also the way that Kim was looking at him with flirty eyes like, what was that to make matters worse the tabloids were reporting on this as it was perfectly normal for Kim to pretend. Like she was seducing a minor people magazine even ran a story with the title. Kim Kardashian channels her inner Jaguar, with Justin Bieber whoever conceived, this idea must have been completely out of their mind, because just imagine if the roles were reversed and it was a a 29-year-old man taking photos with a 16-year-old girl however it seems Kim just didn't care as we know she's willing to do whatever it takes to garner publicity just a few weeks after returning from the Bahamas. She was spotted with Justin grabbing frozen yogurt at Pinkberry and La following the release of the Elle magazine. Photos Kim faced backlash from believers, with some even sending her threats for associating with Justin, but Kim seems to be reveling in every bit of negative attention. She later told US Weekly that she found the threats amusing. I was getting the craziest messages from all the believers Kim said and so I was twittering him like hey babes this is crazy getting death threats from your fans. But then when Kim later appeared on Lopez tonight, she again joked about having a thing for Justin. She even admitted that she would definitely date him if he was of legal age. But Kim didn't stop there. During an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kim was seen talking about the L photo shoot with her mom Chris and her sister Kendall, and she once again said that she would date Justin if he was 18. Kim Kardashian channels her, channels inner, her cougar inner cougar with Justin, with Justin Bieber. Bieber. Is this a joke? Why they love their prey so young. That is so embarrassing. To clarify, no one thinks that Kim was trying to hook up with Justin when he was a minor. We can all agree that the only reason she was doing this was because she was desperate for fame and starting a public friendship with the biggest teenage star in America was a quick and easy way to raise her profile. But what about later, when Justin was no longer a minor? Did Kim take their friendship to the next level at any point? Well, we do know that Justin had a brief fling with Kim's older sister Courtney, and since the Kardashians don't mind sharing men, it honestly wouldn't surprise us if Kim tried to take Justin from Courtney. After all, Kim was always jealous of Courtney, so even if she wasn't really interested in Justin by that point, we wouldn't put it past Kim to try and steal the spotlight from Courtney. Rumors abound that Courtney and Justin dated for a few months in 2015, a period during which Kim was already married to Kanye. However, speculation about Kim's infidelity had been circulating since the announcement of their divorce. Kenny previously hinted that Kim was engaging in secretive behavior, suggesting she was involved with Meek Mill. Later, he accused her of cheating with NBA star Chris Paul. Additionally, there are rumors that Kenny distanced himself from Justin because he felt the singer was too close to the Kardashian sisters. Furthermore, an anonymous source recently claimed that Justin had intimate relations with not just one, but three Kardashian sisters, the prime contenders being Kelly, Kendall, and Courtney. Everything goes back to Justin with the Selena Jenner Bieber drama. And I, I will say that the person who um, made the timeline did say that. Like, if you look at this timeline and you really break down Selena and Justin and Haley's relationship, like, Justin was like a dog. He was like a fucking asshole and he like I think made these girls crazy. So this person also said, I can confirm Kendall, Kylie, and Courtney all slept with Justin Bieber. Courtney after Haley and Haley was pissed. Now fans are speculating whether Kim might have been one of the sisters involved. Those unsettling behind the scenes moments from Kim and Justin's 2010 L photo shoot recently resurfaced on social media, sparking criticism from fans on the Kardashian dedicated Reddit board. I forgot about this, but I'm not shocked that Kim said something inappropriate. One fan commented, another remarked, ESO, they weren't even trying to be subtle. This is so inappropriate. 
Fans are also expressing the view that the Kardashians exploited Justin Bieber's popularity. Now rewind to the time when Diddy took Justin's guardianship for 24 hours. I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. What went down behind closed doors remains shrouded in mystery, but Diddy's personal guard, Jean Deal, spilled the beans on a shocking revelation. A physical relationship between Diddy and Justin Bieber. Man, you good? I'm good. How are you? Hey, right, young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number. It's a trap. Fast forward to the present, where the era of exposing. Diddy is in full swing. Justin Bieber, no longer holding back, drops a bombshell of his own, declaring that Diddy groomed him, much like he allegedly did with Usher. Both Justin and Usher apparently share a disdain for Diddy's unwarranted touchiness and his attempts to assert control contour over them. You know, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. In their eyes, they were newcomers in the industry and Diddy, an old center of the entertainment world, was playing a dubious game. The stage is set, and the revelations are just getting started. 14 years ago, during the height of Justin Bieber's career, the young singer was only 15, making hit after hit. His fame was unlike anyone else's at the time, especially at such a young age. Bieber was discovered by R&B singer Usher, who took him under his wing and helped his career reach even greater heights. This relationship, although innocent at first, is very similar to the one Usher shared with Diddy when he was only 14 years old. Usher was signed to LaFace Records as a young teen and worked with Diddy, who was the producer of his very first album. They had a somewhat friendly relationship and in no time at all, the 14-year-old was under Diddy's unofficial mentorship. This mentorship was something people could only dream of, as he gained the opportunity to rub shoulders with rap legends long before he became an established star himself. In an interview with Vulture, Usher told stories about the times he would cross paths with the likes of Tupac, Notorious Big, and Ice Q during his rise to fame in the early 90s. While these experiences undoubtedly helped his career tremendously, they may have come at a price that was way too high, as we're now finding out the truth behind Diddy's true nature. Rumors about his questionable sexuality are being reinforced following the details of his recent lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend Cassie where she alleges that the rapper would force her to hire male escorts so that they would do what they were hired interview to with do Vulture. while he sat back Usher and told stories about the times he would she cross paths that with the likes of Tupac, them, Notorious B.I.G., and Ice Cube during his rise to fame in the early 90s. Things. And while these experiences these undoubtedly helped his career public, tremendously, it's hard it may have come at a price that was way too high, as we're now finding out the truth behind Diddy's true nature. Rumors about his questionable sexuality are being reinforced following the details of his recent lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend Cassie. That details that where she alleges the rapper would force her to hire male escorts workers so that they would do what they were hired to do as he sat back and watched the whole thing. The she alleges that not only would he watch them do the, the act, but he would force her to take various drugs and record the biggest rival 50 Cent. As early as 2018, 50 Cent has been calling Diddy gay at every turn, including on an appearance at the viral radio show The Breakfast Club. He says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. The Breakfast Club highlighted the fact that someone had outrightly called Diddy gay. The rapper couldn't retract the statement because he knew there were receipts. So while the internet was still trying to ascertain his sexual orientation, However, he did tell Howard Stern that it was pretty wild. It was pretty wild. Was, so nobody tried. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I saying? I went there to see the life snap. Right. And, and I While Usher appears to be keeping the truth under wraps, it's evident that something did happen. When asked if he would ever send his kids to experience Puffy's flavor camp, Usher's response was a firm no, hell no. Although we can't confirm the specifics of what occurred, as only Usher and Diddy know the facts, it's notable that Usher's mother was vehement about keeping the teenager away from Diddy back then. She also attempted to retaliate against Diddy upon learning about the alleged intimate relationship between Diddy and Usher. Justin Bieber posted a vlog on his YouTube page 14 years ago titled 48 Hours with Diddy. 
While the video initially seems innocent, considering everything we know about Diddy's relationship with Usher and the significant age gap between Diddy and Justin Bieber at the time, it raises serious questions about Diddy's true motives. In another video, Justin Bieber and Diddy are seen in the studio together talking. In this clip, Justin Bieber's body language appears very uncomfortable and nervous. Diddy questions Bieber about why he hasn't reached out to him again after they spent two days together. In response, Bieber starts stuttering, moving around nervously, and avoiding eye contact. While the specifics of what happened between them may never be known, it's not unreasonable to assume that some disturbing events occurred, making Bieber reluctant to be around Diddy again. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, doing? young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. Number? Jaguar Wright has become one of the more vocal critics exposing Diddy by sharing serious allegations that insinuate he is a sex trafficker. She claims that he learned how to run this operation from his mentor, Clive Davis. Jaguar Wright alleges that the industry is filled with powerful men who use their positions to traffic and sexually exploit younger people influenced by their power. One of these individuals is Clive Davis, a prominent figure in the recording industry who helped Diddy start his infamous label, Bad Boy Entertainment. According to Jaguar Wright, Diddy has avoided getting caught by the police due to his connections with other well-connected traffickers in the industry, such as Clive Davis. During an interview with Storm Monroe, Jaguar stated that Diddy might have been groomed into sexually exploiting others by his late mentor and Uptown Records founder, Andrew Harrell, who in turn was groomed by his mentor, Clive Davis. She said that Diddy used his powerful position within the industry to traffic both men and women, allegedly having been taught how to do so by Andrew and Clive. My focus right now is Sean Combs. Okay. Tell us why. Tell us why. Because he's a trafficker. And okay. he's using music and entertainment to traffic. Now, is this is this just boys, girls, adults, kids? Like, it I mean, from what I've heard from sources that I would consider reliable, it really doesn't matter. Wow. Um, I don't think sexuality is something that has anything to do with gender at this point. For Sean, I, I, I honestly think he's just an extreme narcissist who loves power he loves the ability to manipulate and control people why most likely because he was victimized by his mentor who loved to control people and his mentor was andre Lavelle. tell tell us how he was mentored about. by clive davis he pointed out that andrew harrell fired diddy from uptown records in 1993 prompting diddy to start his own label bad boy records shortly after Bad Boy quickly surpassed Uptown. Jaguar said that the only reason Diddy was able to build his Bad Boy empire so quickly at that stage of his life was because of the favors he would do for Clive Davis. Andre got passed over. Like, how do you go from being the president of Uptown and losing your entire company to your intern? Like, Puff started out as an intern. As far as Clive Davis and Diddy go, Rumors suggest that the reason Clive helped Diddy start Bad Boy Records was because Diddy would allegedly be taking over Andrew Harrell's place as Clive's boy toy. Davis is over Arista, which is over Diddy's Bad Boy record. Now, rumor has it, allegedly, Diddy got on his knees for Clive Davis in 1994, and that's how Bad Boy Records came about. The two Both individuals share a lot in common, not only have they both held powerful and well-respected positions within their industry, but they have also faced multiple allegations of exploiting and trafficking young men and women. Additionally, many people who have worked with them have died under mysterious circumstances. Because of these disturbing rumors and allegations, a pattern of abuse becomes evident, one that has been talked about for many years among celebrities who have chosen to speak out against the hidden truth, despite the risks to themselves. While we may not uncover everything now, the truth is slowly coming to light in pieces. But what do you think about all of this? Do you believe Diddy was involved with these allegations and with Justin Bieber in ways we could only imagine? Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.